Looking at the attic access here, they're going to blow this uh, blow this attic attic with uh, loose fill material. Now you see these fiberglass bats here. What this is, they put these fiberglass bats up here because when they blow the insulation up on the other side of it, blow the whole attic, this fiberglass bat will keep the loose fill material from falling down when you open up the attic access, which is a good thing to do. Problem is, is they put this in here in such a fashion to where now we've got a problem. The insulation is not in contact. It's not up against the drywall. And up over here, there's a fiberglass bat. You can see it's up above here and it's, it's coming out over two feet over this direction. And we have this top plate over here where there's no insulation whatsoever. Now with QII, all the exterior walls or interior walls need to have the insulation in full contact with the plates too, on the exterior walls in any place. So, so in this particular case, we got a problem here. They need to go ahead and drop some insulation to take care of this little space. Once this is all drywalled in, they typically they put up a piece of drywall or a piece of plywood, which will be the attic access cover. Now, not only does the, uh, the insulation must be same R value as the attic, R30 in this case, needs to be permanently attached to the attic access cover, if you will. And it also needs to have uh, foam. So, so it needs to be sealed off with foam or some other mechanism to make sure that there's no infiltration um, through the attic access into the attic space.